What you're looking at is the first Japanese car model to be built here right in the U.S in 1982. Fast forward 33 years and you've got the 2016 Honda Accord V6 Touring Edition and yes, I'm going to tell you more about it right now. So what makes this Accord the Touring Edition? 19-inch alloy wheels, body-colored parking sensors front and rear, LED headlights with auto on and off, auto high beam headlights, rain sensing windshield wipers, and according to Honda's website, some technical features. What those are, I don't know. Now to be clear, this is not an all new Accord, but more a mid-cycle refresh. I didn't drive the previous Accord, but according to Honda, see what I did there. This one has been updated with more sensors, a better suspension, and an altogether improved driving experience. There's also a new front end that stands bolder and stronger than the outgoing model year, the 2015, and will likely appeal to those who seek sneakers over loafers. Say that three times fast. Seeking sneakers over loafers, seeking sneakers over loafers, seeking sneakers over loafers, seeking sneakers. Under the hood is a very capable V6 with Honda's Earth Dreams engine technology. It cranks out 278 horsepower, and while it probably won't win any drag races, its six-speed gearbox will rev to almost 7,000 RPMs, giving it a fairly spirited feeling and with it an almost sporty exhaust note. Now, before we move to the interior, I just want to point out the all-LED headlights at both the front and the back. At night, they can be mistaken for a Tesla or a car that costs millions of yen more. And that interior, it's appointed with leather. There's even this almost genuine but very aesthetically pleasing carbon fiber-like inlays. Comparatively speaking, the interior hasn't changed much from 2015, but new and old Accord owners won't care because it's just that good. Other features include a 10-way power driver's seat, heated seats for both upfront occupants, adaptive cruise control with semi-autonomous driving, AKA, it will try to keep you in the lane and stop the car if it detects an impending crash. A set of door handles that lock or unlock when you touch them, push button and remote start, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And these, two LCD screens. So let's talk about these for a second. In short, they're useful. One can include navigation information and the other audio. My point is that it reduces the friction one experiences when there's only one screen and two passengers. For example, there is no need to navigate away from the nav to change a setting or to tune to a new station. That in mind, the Accord's infotainment system is far from perfect. On more than one occasion, the GPS put me on the adjacent street, but it is ultra easy to enter an address thanks to, and I don't know why no other car manufacturer does this, the ability to enter a zip code. I'm still frustrated by the touch responsive volume controls, but I see what Honda has tried to accomplish in terms of aesthetics. In other words, no knobs, which keeps things cleaner. And by now you might be wondering about this car's driving dynamics and asking if those paddle shifters, yes those exist, and the almost black wheels are justifiable. And the answer is yes, at least for a Honda that costs just north of $34,000. Sure it's a front wheel drive car, but it pulls plenty given its power and looks. Around corners, I won't lay claim to anything grandiose, but it drives well, is comfortable, and thanks to active noise cancellation, has an exceptionally quiet interior. In fact, phone calls sound downright fantastic and perhaps one of the best, yes, best of any car I've tested. So, price, all in $34,945, which is a $10,000 premium over the base model. But I stress base as this model is the V6 Touring Edition and it is packed with features and tech. All right guys, that's it. That's the 2016 Honda Accord Yes V6 Touring Edition. If you can, please subscribe, like our video and leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.